Now, a lot of you buff gym bros out there, okay, a lot of you buff gym bros will say, Oh, cardio is killing my gains! Oh no, oh dear, um, I shouldn't do cardio because, because I, I'm a weightlifter, you know, I, and cardio is for women and pussies and Chloe Ting. Okay, here's my argument. Cardio is in fact the only way, reliable way, to increase your gains. Other than, well, I, I, okay, I'll say this, it's an alternate way, alternative way, or supportive way to just typical progressive overload. You still need progressive overload, yes, but I promise you, cardio, cardio will increase your gains. So why is that? Okay, let's get into a little bit of the nerdy, sciencey stuff. So, let's talk about how muscles actually built. It's very simple. All right, I'm not going to complicate it with all the textbook stuff, okay? It's basically, here is a muscle, you break it, and then it builds back stronger. That is it. That's all it is. Okay? That's, I mean, it makes sense, evolutionarily speaking. Why would your muscles need to grow if you're not breaking them? Because it's only by necessity that your body grows and grows stronger. So... Why is cardio important now? Well, we have to understand that growing back the muscle, as well as breaking it, both need to involve one very important thing, and that is blood. It needs blood to do that, because blood supplies nutrients to the muscle, which in turn leads to um, breaking and growth. That's what you need for everything, nutrients that are in blood. So, you might ask yourself, how does blood reach these muscles? Why do I get a continual stream of nutrients to my muscles to break and grow them? Very simple. There's something called the bloody heart. This is a heart. It's what pumps blood to all of your big biceps and triceps and gets them breaking and growing to build up stronger. And you can probably see where I'm leading if you're mildly intelligent. Your heart which pumps the blood required, not only required, but is the primary catalyst for breaking and growing muscle and build and getting huge biceps. The only way to do that is to strengthen your heart in addition to progressive overload. Imagine if your heart sucked, if your heart was a pussy, then what would happen? No, no heart goes to here. And no matter how much mental strength you have, you're not going to be able to break and grow it as effectively. And what builds up the heart? What makes it stronger? Bingo. So, by the way, it's in the name. The heart is um, part of the cardiovascular system. That's why it's called cardio. Now, I'm going to go into something very practical. Okay. Do not go on YouTube, watch some Chloe Ting video, and do, like, high knees slowly. Like those old Asian ladies at a fucking um, plaza. Don't do that. D don't. That doesn't work. Unless you do it very, very high intensity. I just suggest keep it simple. Do something you actually like. If you like running, run. Fucking run. Running is amazing. Okay? And plus it builds mental endurance plenty as well. If you like biking, go ahead. Do that as well. The point is, build up your heart. Make it strong enough. So that it can actually pump blood to your muscles. Think, think about this. The heart is like the engine of a car. And then breaking and growing muscles. That's like the movement. Like that's like the wheels turning. If your engine is weak as hell. Doesn't matter how nice looking the wheels are. How polished they are. How much grease they have. Doesn't matter. If your engine sucks, your wheels won't work. The engine or the heart, in this case, is the source of all your power. So, next time, remember, on your push-pull legs rest day, it's not really rest. Rest just means run, or bike, or some other form of cardio. That's not, you know, the kind that old ladies do. So, please, please do cardio. Do not neglect it if you want to go... You know, go to mile and actually start building a lot of muscle. Oh, but that being said, I'm no fitness expert. So please shut me down 
if you can in the comments. Goodbye.